Hello guys, welcome to my channel and thanks for watching this video. In the last videos in this uh, playlist, we have learned how we can install KeyCloak on Ubuntu, how we can do user federation in KeyCloak from OpenLab, and how we can set up our SSL certificates for our KeyCloak server. And in this video, we want to learn how we can make a ba uh, backup of our server. So, uh, before doing the backup, it is better if you uh, discuss it with your uh, system administrator in your uh, organization. So we suppose that right now we have installed KeyClock server on your machine and the KeyClock server is running. Before doing the backup, you have to stop your KeyClock server. So first you stop the KeyClock server and after that we create uh, a new directory for our backup, I will do it under server sudo make dir. For example, we say backup, it will be the backup directory um, for our KeyClock backup. And after that, we change the directory to the um, uh, directory in which we have installed our KeyClock. After that, bin, we go to the bin directory in KeyCloak. Here, as you know, we have the scripts for starting the KeyCloak uh, server. And as I said, you have to stop first, you stop the KeyCloak server. Now, uh, we make a backup of the KeyCloak server and we start it again and we check if uh, everything is working truly or not. So, sudo. Uh, no hop because I want to start a key clock in background, so I use no hop, but it is not the part of the backup command. SH standalone SH minus D key clock dot migration dot action equals to export, we want to export the roles, clients, groups, and users uh, information from our KeyCloak server. And after that, minus D KeyCloak dot migration dot provider is equals DIR because we want to do the backup in a DIR and after that minus D keycloak dot migration dot DIR and here we set the backup DIR it was under server and back up and after that and so one more time uh, you can make a backup of your server without this no hop and without this sign of and i mean just simply with the user sudo sh and the rest of the command until here but i have had it i've added these two ones uh, because i want to start key clock in the background so after that um, uh, we check it one more time sh standalone sh dot key clock migration action is export keycloak.migration dot provider is dir and the dir is here so i press enter um, the keycloak server will be started it may take some time until it comes up but uh, now we can go back to the backup directory and check if we have any backup there or not here or here it was the backup directory and i make a list here you see that they are the the backups of our keycloak server in json format so um, if you want to be sure that um, uh, the information about the roles about the users in your keycloak about all of them are backed up you can go to the browser and open your Keycloak server local host. 
uh, because I have installed the self sense certificate for my Keycloak server. So I get this warning. Here you see the certificate is not trusted because it is a self sign. So it is for me, it is okay. I will install it myself. And here is my Keycloak server. I go to the admin console, admin and the password. Don't save. Here uh, you see that uh, I have only two realms, test realm and master realm. And here in the backup uh, file, uh, here you see that master role and test role. It means that we have the backup of our realms and under test if i click on the users we all users you see that i have only one user here on this uh, under this role we go back to the backup and here is the user the test role and the user so the user resource is also backed up and if i go to the master role and the users i have only admin user and here is the master user. So it means that um, uh, we have made a backup of everything from our Keycloak server. Okay guys, that's it. Thanks for watching.